In case you're hoping to purchase a trade-in vehicle, you're a long way from alone. Between private gathering and vendor deals, almost 40 million trade-in vehicles change hands every year. With such a large number of decisions, finding that one right vehicle for you can be a test. So we've made a rundown of steps to help make finding and purchasing your ideal trade-in vehicle a breeze. 1. The amount car can you afford? 2. Construct a target list of used vehicles 3. Check prices 4. Find used cars available to be purchased in your area. 5. Check the vehicle history report 6. Contact the seller 7. Test drive the car 8. Have the car inspected 9. Haggle a good deal. 10. Complete the paperwork. You can discover great trade in vehicles in an assortment of spots, for example, private party merchants, new vehicle sales centers and trade in vehicle superstores. You can discover great trade in vehicles in an assortment of spots, for example, private party merchants, new vehicle sales centers and trade in vehicle superstores. 1. How much car can you afford? A general guideline, if you're applying for a line of credit to pay for your vehicle, your vehicle installment shouldn't be over 20% of your salary. In case you're adhering to a strict financial plan, you might need to spend even less. Utilized vehicles will require some additional consideration every once in a while, new tires, upkeep and so forth. And afterward there are the other possession costs customers now and then neglect to represent, for example, fuel and protection. On the off chance that the vehicle you're wanting to purchase is out of guarantee, it may be a smart thought to put aside an, in the event of some unforeseen issue, store to cover any sudden fixes. 2. Build a target list of used vehicles. It's a well-known fact that the Honda Accord and the Toyota Camry make for good trade in vehicles. Yet, they may cost two or three thousand in excess of a practically identical Ford Fusion or Kia Optima, despite the fact that these are acceptable vehicles as well. So in case you're hoping to set aside cash, think about more than one brand. We recommend making a rundown of three vehicles that address your issues and fall inside your financial plan. Edmunds surveys have incredible data to manage your decisions. In case you're intending to purchase a vehicle that is under 5 years of age, consider one that is insured used CPO. CPO vehicles have long-haul guarantees that are sponsored by the carmaker, not simply the business offering it to you. Diversified vendors that sell that equivalent fresh out of the box new are the main ones who can sell a CPO vehicle of a similar brand. So in the event that you needed a CPO Chevy Cruze, for instance, you'd have to get it from a Chevy vendor. 3. Check prices. Costs are driven to some extent by where you're shopping. You'll discover utilized vehicles in utilized vehicle segments of new vehicle sales centers, free trade in vehicle parcels, utilized vehicle retailers, for example, CarMax, and sites where private party vendors list their vehicles. Of the four, private party vehicles will regularly have the least selling cost. CPO vehicles will generally cost the most, however for the reasons we've noted. To perceive what others are paying for the models you've selected, Edmunds offers a snappy method to see the normal cost paid for the vehicle in your general vicinity. 4. Locate used cars available to be purchased in your area. One simple spot to begin assembling your objective rundown is the Edmunds Utilized Vehicle Stock page. To discover precisely the vehicle you need, you can channel your inquiry by numerous components, remembering the miles for the vehicle's odometer, its cost and highlights, and sellers' good ways from you. Utilize the sites for other trade in vehicle commercial centers referenced to spare time. 5. Check the vehicle history report. Except if you're purchasing the vehicle from a dear companion or relative who can vouch for its history, plan to get a vehicle history report. This early advance is basic. On the off chance that the vehicle you're taking a gander at has an awful history report, the sooner you know the better. Auto check and is the most popular hotspot for vehicle history reports. These reports can uncover essential data about the vehicle, including whether the odometer has been moved back or on the off chance that it has a rescue title, which implies it has been announced a complete misfortune by the insurance agency. You'll utilize these vehicle recognizable proof number VIN, to get this data, and at times, all you need is the tag number. Most significant sellers offer these reports for nothing on the off chance that they have the vehicle in the stock. 6. Contact the seller. When you locate a decent imminent vehicle, don't head out to see it. Call the merchant first. This progression is an amazing method to set up a relationship with the dealer and confirm the data about the vehicle. You can ask private party dealers for what reason they're leaving behind a vehicle or whether it has any mechanical issues. Furthermore, in case you're purchasing from a seller, a call or content is the most ideal approach to guarantee the vehicle is still in stock. 7. Test drive the car. 
Test driving a trade-in vehicle is the most ideal approach to know whether this is the correct vehicle make and model for you. It's likewise a decent method to survey this specific vehicle's condition. So block out interruptions and spotlight on the vehicle. Here are a few things to check. Is it simple to get in and out of the vehicle without stooping or slamming your head? Is there enough headroom, hiproom and legroom? Make sure to check the space in the rearward sitting arrangement as well. Is the driving position agreeable? Do you sit excessively low, too high or on the money in the vehicle? Would you be able to tilt or telescope the directing wheel for a superior fit? Are the seats agreeable? Is it true that they are effectively flexible? Is there a lumbar help alteration for the driver? What about the front seat traveler? Is the check motor light on? Assuming this is the case, get that issue looked at before purchasing. How is the perceivability? Check the rear view reflect and the side mirrors. Search for potential vulnerable sides. Utilize your nose. Do you smell gas, consuming oil or anything awry? Look at the tires. How old right? Is there enough track left? How are the brakes? It is safe to say that they are carrying out the responsibility of halting the vehicle. Do they squeak? Hop the hood. You don't need to know a great deal about vehicles to check whether something looks wrong. In the case of something is releasing, steaming or shrouded in oil, it's a great opportunity to pose inquiries. Does the cooling blow cold? Do headlights, brake lights and turn markers work? Test them certainly. After the test drive, ask the proprietor or vendor on the off chance that you can see the administration records. These will show you if the vehicle has had the planned support performed on schedule. 8. Have the car inspected. On the off chance that you like the vehicle, consider having a technician examine it before you get it. In the event that you don't have a specialist, Google and Yelp are acceptable spots to peruse nearby shops audits. A pre-purchase review costs $100 to $200 and can make you aware of issues you may not get yourself. It's a savvy speculation. A private party merchant will most likely permit you to do this absent a lot of opposition. Most vendors will let you obtain a vehicle for an outside repairman to assess. You'll be paying for this, obviously. On the off chance that it is a CPO vehicle, there's as of now been an investigation and the vehicle has a guarantee, so there is little motivation to take it to an autonomous repairman. 9. Negotiate a good deal. Does talking numbers fill you with fear? It shouldn't. Arranging doesn't need to be a drawn-out, awful experience. On the off chance that you are sensible and have an arrangement, odds are you can make an arrangement before long and without any problem. Choose early the amount you're willing to spend to get the vehicle. However, don't begin with this number in your conversation. Make an initial offer that is lower than your greatest cost, yet in the ballpark dependent on your normal cost paid research in step 3. Clarify that you've done your examination on Edmunds or any place else, so you have realities to help your offer. In the event that you and the vendor show up at a value that sounds great to you and is close to the normal cost paid, you're most likely fit as a fiddle. What's more, recall, the individuals on the opposite side presumably despise haggling as well, regardless of whether it's their activity. 10. Get the paperwork done. In the event that you are at a vendor, you'll sign the agreement in the Fund and Protection Office. There, you will probably be offered extra things, for example, a guarantee, against robbery gadgets, prepaid help plans or texture insurance. A few people need the genuine feelings of serenity that accompanies maintenance agreements, so this is something you should consider except if the vehicle is still under the producer's guarantee or is a CPO vehicle. Audit the business deal altogether. In many states, it records the expense of the vehicle, a documentation expense, potentially a little charge for an exhaust cloud authentication, deals assessment and permit expenses. In the event that you are purchasing a vehicle from an individual proprietor, ensure the dealer appropriately moves the title and enrollment to you. It's essential to finalize the negotiation effectively to stay away from after-deal bothers. Before cash changes hands, request the title, which is once in a while called the formal notice, and have the merchant give it up to you. Rules overseeing vehicle enlistment and authorizing shift from state to state. On the off chance that conceivable, check with your nearby division of engine vehicles to ensure there are no past due enlistment expenses you'd be liable for should you purchase the vehicle. Regardless of whether you purchase from a vendor or a private gathering, ensure you have protection for the vehicle before you drive it away. When you've done the desk work, it's an ideal opportunity to praise your new buy, possibly with a drive-through supper. You merit it.